Good day, everyone. I'm here again, Dr. Adeja Yobami. Today, I want to talk about this importance of tests before marriage or tests to do before marriage. The reason why I bring this, we have a lot of problem in our community, which we have to stop it now. So we don't know what they need before marriage. That is why I'm here to let you, my people, to know the test you need to do before you say you do. Before you even have plan at all, you have to know some certain things so that there won't be issue after your marriage. The first thing is not even your genotype this time around. The first test is HIV. HIV. Because if you don't know your partner very well, if you don't go for the HIV test and you, have, you are sleeping together, that means you can contact a disease that for the rest of your life you will be sad. That's the first thing. It's good to know your status, HIV status. Second is hepatitis B, A, B, C especially in the B. If you know that status too, you know where you belong. You can bear it, you go for it. The next one is genotype. That one too is very, very important. Genotype. Before I proceed, let me talk about the blood group. The reason why you should know your status very well. I've talked about HIV, I've talked about hepatitis B, I've talked about genotype, but most people don't even care about genotype at blood group at all because they think it's, it's a small thing. Blood group is not a small thing, you have to take care of it. When it comes to marriage, you have to be very, very careful about it. Your blood group must be done because if you don't know your blood group, and you married, you are buying no testing. What is no testing? People that don't show, sure, maybe you can have a good time together, maybe you can have a baby together. Because if you are, if your blood is not match, it's, it's a problem. If your blood is not match, it's a problem. Even if your blood is match, and you are negative, the wife is negative, the other is something else, you have an issue after a baby. So you have to know your status, your blood group, genotype, hepatitis, and uh, HIV. That is where I am before I proceed. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at DR Waleayo. Subscribe, comment, and like. Subscribe, comment, and like to our YouTube channel. So, you have to know your blood group very well because your blood group is very, very important when it comes to marriage. Know your blood group very well to know maybe you are, you are, you are a good match. If you can bear it, now if your wife is negative and bearing a baby, after the baby you need a particular injection, if you can't avoid it, don't even go for it in marriage, then you quit. That is, you need, you need those tests before marriage. That's a fact. Don't buy no tests. Don't buy what will give you problem. The next one is genotype. Let me talk about genotype very well as well. Your genotype is very, very important. Don't take that for granted also. Don't take that for granted. Before I go there, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like, comment, and refer, share our page to your friend to benefit from this program. So don't take genotype for granted also. Do your genotype, know your match. If you don't care for it, you are bringing, bringing a problem to the world. You are bringing a problem that you yourself, you'll be able to solve it. You are bringing a baby that you, you, you see your baby in sorrow, in sorrow then you, you don't have any option than to be watching 
your baby crying all this and you don't have anything to do about it. This is a matter of giving your baby a biscuit or shawarma or chocolate or taking your baby to London or Dubai or a party because your baby will be crying and you don't have anything to do without crying. You have to manage the cry. Imagine seeing what you brought, what you bring to this world in suffering, a suffering that nothing can cure it. Imagine. So know your genotype before saying you do. Before even planning anything, know your HIV, hepatitis B, um, HIV, hepatitis B, blood group, genotype. Know the four very well. After the four, then you now proceed to fertility tests. You proceed to fertility tests. You produce. So after you did that, you proceed to fertility test. As a man, you go for semen analysis. You go for semen analysis. When you go for semen analysis, you know maybe you can impregnate woman or you can't. Don't buy no testing. That's a fact. And the woman too should go to go for pelvic scan and hormonal assays. If you go for those tests. You, you know maybe you are capable of getting pregnant or impregnate someone. So you have to be very, very careful about that. Check the Muna provide or Muna as a woman and pelvic scan. That's the fact. That Muna provide will tell you how your hormones is. Maybe your hormones is capable of getting pregnant or you don't have, you have issue. Maybe what is happening is suitable or not, you have to be very sure of yourself. So after that, as a man, you need semen analysis. If you do semen analysis, you know your semen is strong or not. You know maybe you have infection that it is, you, can, you can be treated or you don't even have to go for money at all. There are some men that their semen, their sperm, cannot even be treated, cannot even get any result at all. So why going for marriage? Why putting yourself into danger? Why putting yourself into lifetime crime? Why putting someone into a pain? So don't even try it. Don't buy no test. There are some, this is a new world. Before, if someone is married for a period of time and they don't consider, they don't consider any child, they will blame the woman. But this nowadays, the problem goes to a man a lot. There are some people, they will think, their wife is the problem, not knowing the, 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 the husband is the problem. So you have to be very, very sure of yourself before you go into it. Don't even try it at all. If you know that you have not done those tests, don't, don't try it. This is a new world, this is a civilized world. It is before that we don't care, our parents don't care, we just go into it, we risk a lot of things. Some don't survive, some survive it. That is why some people don't have parents. Because they suffer a lot. That is why you see some family, they have uh, 15 children, only two survive. They have 40 children, only one survive. Imagine, that is a painful thing. For you not to go for that painful thing, you have to you have to be very careful. You have to be very careful of your your family before you say I do. Before you say I do, know what you need. Know yourself. Before you say I do, you have to test yourself. Test your fertility, whether really your fertility is strong or not. Maybe your fertility is strong or not. Maybe, maybe your fertility is strong or not. If your fertility is not strong, some are treated, some are treatable, some are not treatable. Some are not treated, some are treated, some are not treatable. So you have to be very sure of your hormones, both female and male. Some are treatable.